Hi, I'm Allison here with Lauren for this week's first ever News On Featured 5. And we're here to give you a quick rundown of this week's top stories. President Obama and Vice President Biden visited the families and victims of the deadly mass shooting at Pulse nightclub in Orlando. The president later gave a speech expressing his condolences to the families. And parents, and they asked, why does this keep happening? And they pleaded that we do more to stop the carnage. Vigils continue to be held across the nation, mourning those taken too soon. Funerals are underway. The Orlando medical professionals who responded to the tragedy were welcomed back to work yesterday as heroes. Also in Orlando, the body of two-year-old Lane Graves was found dead after being snatched by an alligator at the Grand Floridian Disney Resort. While the family continues to mourn the loss of their son, Disney officials are working to put up new signs warning of the dangers of alligators in the water. A funeral is scheduled to take place today for the former contestant on The Voice, Christina Grimmie. She was fatally shot last week after her concert in Orlando. The funeral will be held near Grimmie's hometown in Medford, New Jersey. This week, Bernie Sanders officially announced his support for the Clinton campaign. He now plans to work alongside Clinton to help strengthen the Democratic Party. Today also marks one year since the tragedy that struck Emanuel AME Church in Charleston, South Carolina. Events honoring the nine innocent churchgoers killed will take place over the next 12 days throughout the city. And that's all for this week. We'll see you next time.